on um, uh, September the 13th, Wednesday, September the 13th, 2023, I posted two poems, long poems, both, seems like. Uh, the first of which I'll read to you right now is number 4068. That's M-M-M-M-L-X-V-I-I-I. It's called Sweet Dreams to All, Near or Far. Might I but kindly, humbly ask a simple question regarding my existence? I've been told on quite a regular basis what a lousy communicator I am. This was, of course, back when I had a lot of people who spent enough time with me on such a regular basis that I could only presume that they would know and with authority relay this characteristic to me about myself. And now that I have so many questions about this quality, there's nobody around who'd even know. And who would even want to know? Oh, my skills, I am aware, is this by which I mean or this they mean. I'm quite a contender in the financial district, or else I was led to believe this and knew it and this rounded out life to make it a life with me in it, and an affordable one at that. But it appears by all measure that I couldn't talk myself back into such an environment if my life depended on it. At this point, it certainly depends. It seems that way. But I have another interview on, on Friday. Tomorrow, what can I say? What more could my life possibly depend upon more than this one seemingly, for me, cinch of a task I've done most, historic, most historically and with such regularity. But nowadays, and for far too long now, I talk and then I talk and then I talk and then I talk, staring into what I've no reason to believe are real humans that sit just on the other side of the laptop's window shield. A human, or two, or three, who stare at me congenially, carrying on as if we're the greatest of friends, or at least will be. Sometimes they have me wait a while as they beckon yet more humans, and so I wait more days, and then when they arrive, they ask the very same questions and seem elated to make my acquaintance, giving me the distinct impression that, yes, we'll soon know each other so well, and that we're only just beginning to get to know each other, but just you wait. Just you wait. And then I don't hear from them again, except, or at least this is usually the case, in the form of a very impersonal letter in which they glumly say they found a better friend. They have decided that we were not meant to know each other any more than in such a through-the-windshield sort of impermanent way. Okay. And so this is what I wake up to most days. And I wave hello, and I begin to act as eloquently as I can, muster, and recollect as specifically as I can muster in order to answer their odd and yet so genial questions. While in between these absurd conversations with a lousy windshield always between me and the other human, or the two or more humans, the ones with whom I talk and laugh and act as if we, as if we take a few moments to check my mail and... <sighs> One after the other, these form letters arrive from the folks with whom I have had these conversations in the days and weeks previous each and all with the same essential language and the same essential message. We found a new and better friend. Goodbye. What is there to, to, to do between those and the strange conversations? I could cry. I could give up and probably soon die. But instead, I find myself revving myself back up for more of the same. Day in, day out, month in, month out. Do you perhaps get the picture or is anyone even there? I know so well I'd be if they had picked me. I'm so very good at all of that. But these confounded conversations through the pixelated screen? Well, I've been told so often that I have anxiety, and this most often by professionals who would certainly know about such things, and I've been told as well by folks with whom I was close enough that they would surely know I am that I am just one lousy, unscripted talker, one truly horrible communicator. I mean, I write poetry. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. A anyway, and so I go to bed at night, most every night these days, these long, depressing weeks that extend themselves into horrible months, wondering if that is the reason why none of these people want to bring me in, why none of them wants to be my friend. Mm-hmm.